This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Good morning, everyone. Shalom Aleichem, Bruchem Aboim, Agetyar, Agazunta Vinter. You know, when we wished last night a Gazunta Vinter, it's amazing how powerful that bracha was. All of a sudden it became winter. I think we should start saying Agazunta Autumn or something. That might be better. We might, we're probably better off saying uh, Agazunta Spring, you know, maybe that would be better. Anyway, okay, so we're continuing in Mishnah Bura Daf HaShavua, and we're moving right along. I believe we are up to Simen Chaf Gimel. Dine Tzitzis Beves Hakvarais, the laws of Tzitzis in a cemetery. Says the Mechaber, Mutter li kanas v'ves hakvaris v'lover tzitzis. Permitted to enter a cemetery wearing tzitzis v'ushalei nigra al hakvaris, as long as it's not dragging on the kever. Avalam hu nigra al hakvaris also mishum loy glorash. If it's dragging on the kever, it's also because you're mocking the poor. Ba'medvar ma'murim, when was that an issue? Bimeyem shu matilam tzitzis v'mabu shaloshu mutzach atzmam. This is only... Again, the Mechaber is saying it's only an issue of loy l'arash when you have these long tzitzes dragging on the kever. If it's not dragging on the kever, there's no problem. But that's in their days when they actually put tzitzes on their clothing that they wore for clothing. So it's not loy l'arash if the tzitzes was apparent. It's only loy l'arash if it's dragging on the kever. But we... We don't put tzitzis on our clothing. We wear a special beged for tzitzis. Also, I feel enum negram. Then it's also even if it's not dragging. That's when the tzitzis are uncovered. But if they're covered, it's permitted. Says Mishnah Bar Loig Lerash. It looks like you're blaspheming them. You're mocking them. And it's not, it's not nice, not correct. It's usher to mock someone. It's usher to mock someone that I could do something that you can't do. It's a certain sensitivity, even though, you know, we just read in Kohelas, could be the dead, they don't see your tzitzis, but it doesn't matter. The same way, you have to be sensitive to the chala, you have to be sensitive to a mess. Now it's interesting, um, many have a practice that if somebody, let's say, does not walk well, so it's not nice to sort of speed by them. You know, in a way, it's lo yeg l'arash. You're, aha, I could walk, you can't walk. So you sort of slow down your gait, and you walk, you know, very slow, as if, you know, you don't want to speed by them. Okay, it's a sensitivity. L'tzar chatzmam. They word for them. Back in the day, they had four-cornered garments. Hey, mechusim is permitted if it's covered. Kagan shemach bias at tzitzes shalatalas gadol tachas kanvek susay. That is, you hide the tzitzes of the talas gadol under your clothing. So, if you're wearing a talas gadol, you want to hide the tzitzes under your clothing. What about a talas katan? May I time a gam a talas katan? Shalav she tachas lamadav ein ba mishum loy glorash kim mishum mechusa. For this reason, even a talis katan that you wear under your clothing is no loig rush because it's covered. Unless, of course, you're not wearing a jacket. So, they would be asr until you stick the strings into the corners. Don't even wear a talis gadol. Even if you stick it in the strings and hide them because the Taz Gadol is designated for Tefillah. Also, uh, unqualifiedly says that if it's covered, a Taz Gadol is Mutter. Okay. Sif Beis. Yesh Noegim Likshar Shnei Tzitzios Sheba Shnei Knafayim Zemza Kishen Nechnasam Vesek Vrasvala Hiyulu Klum Besakanasam what some people do is, in order to avoid the Oloi Glarash, they take two strings and they tie the two strings together. And the Mechaber says that they're not accomplishing anything. By just tying two strings together, that does not accomplish anything. It says, 
even though they tie together, they're not nullifying the mitzvah. I mean, they think by doing that, they're nullifying the mitzvah. So, uh, so it's not like Larash because they're not mekayim the mitzvah. But they're not nullifying the mitzvah. Why? It's not a permanent. Their intent is to undo it as soon as they leave the cemetery. And according to them, that they think they're they're nispatal the tzitzis, so then they're wearing a garment without tzitzis. I guess the Mishaburu is saying, even if you grant their svara, so what are they accomplishing? So they're walking around with a beggar of four corners without tzitzis. You can't do that either. Siv Gimel. Hanichnas toich arba amash shalmei soy shal kever. If you're going within four cubits of a dead body or a grave, dina knichnas abeis akras. It has the same status of entering a cemetery. B'makim shenagin lahasar tzitzis mitalas hameis babayis. In a place, what the minig is to remove the tzitzis of, a, of the talus of a mace in the house. Some places, they would remove the strings of the talus of a mace in the bias. So if the people who are carrying the mace are wearing tzitzis, then there is an issue of loy Now we're up to a new issue. The issue is, the mess right now is wearing tzitzis. If you're going to remove his strings, if the people removing them are wearing tzitzis, that's also lo yiglarash. Says Mishmaru shal kever, vafil bekever shal katan yesh avnushim lo yiglarash. Even the kever of a katan you should be machmer. Interesting. Um... The Dirshu brings down that in Simon Ayin Aleph he brings don't say Kaddish or any learning within four Amos of a mace. It's also like Larash. But if you say Kaddish for the mace, the Gesha Chayim, Rabbi Chilmechel Tegachinsky says the Minig is to say it because it's for his Kavit, it's not like Larash. You're allowed to say Tchino Subak Kashos, Davening Shachris. It's interesting, Rav Shmuel Salant. When he went to Kever Rachel, he only said it in the praise there in like the hallway because of Kever Larash. Regarding Shachris in the Kever Rameer Balanes or the Rajbi, since they're buried deep within a cave, it's a separate Rosh is not Loig Larash. Okay. Um, the Shema Nishma, okay, now why is it no Loig Larash? Why is it Loig Larash not to have tzitzis by the kever of a katan? The Shema Nishma Adam Gadol, who maybe he had the Nisham of a great person, Avo Bekever Isha, but the kever of a woman, the Bechaya Gam came to Ralak Misham Loig Larash. That during her life she was also, she was Pater. So there's no, no Loig Larash. It's like entering a cemetery. Um, where he says that if you're at the beginning of a cemetery, it's also only within four amas. If you're in the middle of the cemetery, it's also even more than four amas. Okay, next Mishnah Bura, B'makim Shinagim, Achorim Eskim, Da'afilu B'makim Shinagim, L'Hasar Gamkin, Ikam Misham, Lo'ig L'Rash, Ho'sh HaMesim, Tormen HaTzitzas. The Achorinim conclude, even if you do not remove the tzitzas from the mess, and the mess is wearing tzitzas, it's still Lo'ig L'Rash for you to wear tzitzas, because the mess is potter from tzitzas, and by and you're wearing tzitzas that you get a mitzvah for, Lo'ig L'Rash, Ha'inu Ma'atzitzas M'gulun K'lal, that is if the tzitzas are uncovered. Okay, Rabbi Sai, great to see everybody back. We'll continue tomorrow in Simon Chavdalid. And um, Bezus Hashem, next week we start Hilchais Tfilin. Okay, so call to everyone, Bracha Vatzlacha. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.